so yeah. <laughs> North America is starting to wake up. Yes. All right, so Dwarven Quarry, here we go. Here we go, game two. SDP versus War Inc. SDP defending, War Inc attacking. And yeah, I mean, you guys saw the whole map last time, but I'm going to go ahead and run through it again as well. So there's that first point. Here is your second point. If we go up over the hill here, as you see those lovely dwarves. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful map. I'm not I don't even have this on max settings. I have this on medium settings. There is your third point. Then you ride the train along. There is your fourth point. And if we come up these stairs. As time starts to run out, there's your fifth point right there. So this game is starting. All right, War Inc. running up the hill. SDP running out to defend. Big battle out in front of the pock. Great placement there of the front line by SDP. They want to keep the battle off of the pock. That way, even if they do happen to get wiped, War Inc. still has to move onto the park, which gives them that extra couple of seconds to kind of regroup and defend again. So great positioning by SDP and forcing that battle to be up, you know, further up off the park. I, it is going to allow War Inc. to reinforce a little bit quicker, but like I said, they're not standing on the park. There's no uh, point where they're going to basically be taking the puck if somebody happens to accidentally step off of it. Though we do see Beelzebub up there trying to take the puck as there was nobody on it. But Stalingrad and Pest and Big Daddy and Undertaker all coming in to fight him. He does go down. So they notice that rather quickly. They're pushing War Inc. back into their spawn. Back into the, uh, the docks here. But SDP backing up a little bit, realizing they might be overextending slightly. So back on the puck, you know, it's all SDP. Look at that, T-34 grabbing the Sister of Fire. Now she's trapped. Yeah, there it is. Dead. That's a dead elf. Looks like the battle. We had a sapper get in and create a teleporter back here on the backside, hoping to get a flank off, but all of SDP responding to that. The sad part though, that allows War Inc. to move that battlefront up to the actual pock. So they are about one third of the way through that pock. And it's going right back down. War Inc. trying to make a push. Can they take this first pock? You know, 12 minutes and 30 seconds left to go. They have one tick, it looks like, currently. Or two, maybe. Actually, I believe that is two ticks. And yeah, for ice all over the place here. Optimal going after Jack here. Beelzebub also, along with Nolly. And a lot of the SDP team, or the Warring team, getting frozen over there. What they need to do is they need to get on this pock. They need to actually capture it. We're about three quarters of the way through that pock. Can they stay on it and capture it? They need to take out Undertaker and Tephus. Oh no, Tephus is on War Inc. They need to take out Undertaker. Let's see if we can get down a little closer to this battle here. And SDP coming back. Inza still in there. Same with Ramsey and Tephus. Beelzebub coming in. They could take this if they can clear the pock. All they have to do is clear the pock. But SDP with two Frost Witches coming in. Just basically, oh, we got two ticks left. War Inc., can they do it? Three SDP. Orcs. Oh, Inza going down. Hamar. 
Ah! Hamar needs to get back on that puck right now. Huge battle going on here with Orcs. Still at that, like, two, almost two takes away from capping this point. Ramsey on the ground. It looks like Ramsey's dead. War Inc. trying to get in here. Dagon just taking out Ariel. And it looks like STP taking a couple ticks back here. Trying to solidify their area on this puck. Just outside of 10 minutes left. And at War Inc. coming in. And there it is. Can they get it? No, we have two STP players on top three now. But, oh, what a wonderful battle here at this first puck as I crash. I wasn't even doing anything. Let's see if we can get that up real quick. Working on it, ladies and gentlemen. Play. My apologies for that. Uh, we still haven't figured out what is making my uh, game crash here on this computer. Obviously, I have specs well enough to stream and play the game and not have to worry about uh, having any issues with, you know, RAM or processor speed or anything like that. So, definitely, it's got to be something out else. Come on and load. Hurry up. There it is. I'm going to see if I can't get back into that game for you guys. Yes, join previous battle, Dwarven Quarry. Let's see what's going on with these two teams. We still had about a little under 10 minutes left to go on that puck. I don't know if uh, War Inc. managed to take it or not, but we will see here in a quick second as the game loads in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so they did manage to take it, it looks like. We are up on that second puck now, getting you there as we speak. And it does look like STP doing a wonderful defense here of that, uh, that point of contention. There is a teleporter up so that they can get there faster. We do have Globby from War Inc. on the, uh, on the puck, having a little bit of a character uh, frozen issue. Uh, that sneeze. Ah! But yeah, we do have STP still controlling it. War Inc. has about a quarter of the puck down. Let's see if they can manage to take it here and move on. 13 minutes left in this game. Every time they take a point of contention, we do see that clock go up. You can see that wonderfully beautiful train and wheel in the background there. I, beautiful, beautiful map. We do see uh, Garathon taking out Burst Fire along with Beelzebub. But here's the thing. They need to take Undertaker off and, and past. They need to get SDP off of that puck. If they do not, they will not be able to move on. They won't get any more time, and they will fail and go two games to nil, basically. So we do see that SDP has taken back those few ticks that War Inc. did have on on the point of contention. But uh, it does look like we do have a War Inc. Uh, Sister of Fire up there shooting a couple of fireballs out, trying to do as much damage as she can from that distance with her magic. And here's the funny thing. You see SDP attacking. There is a totem right behind them that they don't see. That's going to help out Hiramar. That's going to help out any of the War Inc. players. Big Daddy doing as much damage as he can to Hiramar. Let's get up a little bit higher on the battle, ladies and gentlemen. Get a little top-down view. does look like the battle not on the puck as of right now, though SDP solidifying their position again on this uh, point of contention. Looks like Big Daddy here, you know, building up a teleporter end again. That's that little spinny red thing you see down there at the bottom of the screen. It is down now, but I, that teleporter is so, so very important, especially on maps like this where your spawn is so far away 
from the actual action. And it helps your team reinforce a heck of a lot quicker. Looks like we do have a battle going on down here. Oh, and there he goes. Enza leaping out, trying to get away. Dagon getting smacked by Enzo over there and finished off with that finishing blow. We do have Hiramar on the, uh, on the puck, but he is now down, and that one tick he did manage to get is now gone. So it does look like we are getting that, uh, that bottleneck here over at these rocks. STP pushing out, trying to keep the battle off that puck, like I was saying earlier. If they can keep it off, if they manage to run off of the puck for any reason, they don't lose any ticks to War Inc. at this point. Though we do see Hiramar coming around the edge by his lonesome. Although Undertaker was following him for a second. STP doing a great job of defending this point here. come around to where the battle is and we could see STP pushing out quite far trying to actually bottleneck them all the way back to this ravine here where the, you see this rock here where, S, where the STP players are if they can manage to get them that far back then this little flanking path that you see me flying through right now that will not be an option for War Inc but War Inc has managed to push themselves back out you know definitely a berserker shot by uh, by Stalingrad there, knocking a couple of players out, taking out uh, Globby there, and the battle once again off the puck. SDP keeps pushing the battle off the puck, and that's what you see from a good team here in Panzar. Not only do they do a great job defending, a great job with their teamwork, but they manage to control where the battle is going on and pushing the battle uh, you know, to where they want it to be. So let's come back around. It does look like we're getting a little bit of flanking here. But right now, War Inc. reinforcing with all three of their orcs and their two uh, Frost Witches. So coming back up here in the middle. Oh, and look at that. War Inc. coming in, doing as much as they can. It looked like we did have a Steam Hammer there for a minute. But uh, it is down now. SD, Dagon from SDP using that Berserker leap after using that uh, <laughs> after using his power attack, knocking back Nolly, and then leaping over there to do that finishing blow. It does look like uh, with eight minutes left here, we do have about a third of that uh, a third of that pock taken care of. Though T34 still standing on it, manages to put it all the way back to red again. STP definitely in control of this match right now. Even though War Inc. putting up a great fight. And look at all those wonderful, lovely colors. You can see Pest right there with all those yellow, with all that yellow and black. You can thank him. He keeps the game servers alive. Uh, paying some money here into the game so that uh, Panzar can have a little money to eat their top ramen. It does look like War Inc. making a pretty good push here. We're about three quarters in. Here it goes. Can we see them take it here? Big Daddy, T-34, all coming in. Dagon also coming in. Oh, can War Inc. get her? Is SDP going to manage to uh, to capitalize on this and take it back? SDP does manage to capitalize on it and take it back. But, my God, what a good, good push there by War Inc., just sadly a little bit short of what they actually needed so we're at about 640 now on the game clock and if they don't quickly hurry up and take this puck it's pretty much going to be a loss at this point as they're not going to have much time to finish out the last three of those uh, those capture those contention points
does look like Dagon doing his work again. Undertaker in there healing. So often we forget about those paladins. Those paladins so crucial and they just you know keep you from spending all your pots. Make sure that you stay alive. Make sure you have mana. I mean, there's so many things that a paladin does that you know just go unnoticed half the time. Especially here in the spectate mode, as you know, they're not doing kills, they're not you know, you can't see people's health bars, things like that. I mean, we have to give great credit here to our paladins like Undertaker that are doing all of that hard work, not getting any kills. But uh, you can definitely see on the scoreboard Undertaker, their MVP currently. It does look like the battle way off here. We do have a small battle on the puck, but I do want to show you this big battle coming over here. Undertaker, Dagon, Stalingrad, they're all in there, and that's a lot of frozen war ink. But they have managed to take about a third of it back. Let's see if they can manage to make another good push and actually get in here and take it. I don't know. Oh, and I think STP might be able to push him back once again. But Beelzebub! Beelzebub sitting on the puck! Same with Inza coming in here. If they can manage to clear this out, which Dagon knocking them all off the puck. STP putting it back to red again. Great, great work right there by STP. Great work by War Inc. Trying to get in and make something of, what, of their current situation. But... I mean, STP managing to keep the battle off of that point of contention, and this game at four minutes left might just be over already. And I think the the battle. Let's go see. Is the battle over at this side? Because uh, well, there's a teleporter start. I don't see the teleporter end, but okay. Let's get a little bit of height on this. Watch from this choke point here. It does look like T34 and Pest using their magic shields to make sure that no damage is coming in here in this last three and a half minutes. You do see Big Daddy basically solidifying, you know, there's a gravity mine there, there's a normal trap, there's two totems out and a teleporter so they can immediately pretty much teleport from their spawn back to the pock but I mean right now they have War Inc's number they're keeping them off the pock though we do see Beelzebub Bob trying to get back onto the pock as hard as he can does manage to go down there before ever getting to that uh, point of contention Globby coming in Tephys coming in Hiramar coming in. War Inc. trying to switch up which way they're coming from. They managed to get on the puck, but I mean, at this point, SDP rallying back at it. And yeah, we're two minutes and 30 seconds outside of the end of the game. And yeah, mines, traps, everything all over the place making sure that war Inc. can't take this block here in the last two minutes nolly getting in doing her freeze stalingrad managing to get through thanks to a quick uh, magic shield there by one of his teammates by hiramar and taking out nolly that frost witch so great teamwork there between the berserker and the tank i ain't you can't say enough about what that has accomplished for them in this game. Their teamwork, working together, getting through this, and they are going to be going on to the finals. So, yeah. We will see SDP versus whoever is in the finals. And just outside of one minute left, War Inc. still trying to push. Trying to, you know, at least get the second point for, you know, honor's sake. <laughs> at this point, SDP could just go wait in their spawn, and I don't think there is enough time for uh, 
War Inc. to get all the way to the end and capture every single point. And yeah, burst fire standing on that teleporter, just firing away. And here we go, last 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, this is War Inc.'s last opportunity to push into the pocket and take it. Hiramar and Beelzebub there. Beelzebub getting knocked back. Dagon and T-34 going after him while he's on the ground. There goes Hiramar as well. Tephis coming in trying to heal him, but I mean, Stalingrad coming in with the finishing blow. You know, finishing off Ariel there. And yeah, this game, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. There's not even enough time, even if they just stood on the puck with no contention. And there it is. There is your game, ladies and gentlemen. That was game two of SDP versus War Inc. War Inc. put up a wonderful fight, but in the end, SDP winning into moving on to that to those finals. So uh, here are your your MVPs for each team. Gareth Onku, 20 and 19. Undertaker, the Pally, three and eight, but he's a Pally. He's not really, you know having three kills. Great for him. So that is the end of that matchup. SDP versus War Inc. Congratulations, SDP. War Inc., better luck next time. We'll see you next week.